Okay, I had a couple questions on the relay and how it works, so I'm going to do a video on it. It's a McMaster car relay. Uh, they're like 25 bucks. It's a two-pole double throw. Uh, even though it is a two-pole, I am jumpering those poles together to create a monopole, single pole. Each pole is rated for 30 amps. Uh, the system I'm running at it's a 3000 watt continuous 6000 watt surge so that's why I'm running two 30 amp contacts so that it can uh, handle the amperage without burning up the relay what happens is this here is my two cords now let's step back here's one for my main panel and this is the power coming in from the inverter if you follow it up right there tucks in back behind there, comes up, goes over and hits to there. If you follow that back and around, you'll see that I have a jumper from it to the coil on the contactor so that when the uh, inverter energizes, it also energizes the coil. I'll wait for the plane for a second. About to build another HHO spud gun and, and deal with my air traffic problem. We've been flying much too low lately. So the other um, cord comes up and then contacts there, jumps up to the gear. Okay. Right now I've got the inverter off, so you can see it in the off. I'm working on another panel inside so I have most of my stuff turned off right now. So you can see in the de-energized position it is closed to that contact. And then when it energizes it switches over to the inverter. When the inverter shuts off the batteries go too low it automatically switches back over to grid power. Uh, it does it actually amazingly quickly or fast. Uh, some electronics doesn't even shut down. The, the caps inside the electronics keep everything energized long enough, you know, the, the cycle or so, um, for it to switch over. So, other than that, you just wire it up like a normal panel. Um, it doesn't have 240, even though there's two hots and I'm using both A and B phase, it is still 120. Both of those are the same phase of power, so. You can't put a 220 breaker in here, it's not intended. This is all my branch wiring when I want a 2 20 apparatus, I'll get a separate inverter, separate panel, separate circuits, separate everything, and I'll run that 220. I do know of an individual friend of mine who has a 220 inverter, and he is running a, a 220 to 120 transformer off of it, so that he has both in one inverter. Um, it's handy, he got the, the transformer really cheap, so it works. Um... Oh, my outlet is just hung on a piece of copper. The copper is landed on the bus bar just as a place to hook it. Oh, let's see. There. So, that's why it's not mounted. I want, it, I want everything that I do very removable um, for my own purposes. <laughs> so, that's the inside of the panel. Take it easy.